The Sega Dreamcast is a hugely popular system to emulate today, and RetroArch makes easy work of Dreamcast emulation. In this guide I'll be showing you how to set up RetroArch to play Sega Dreamcast games. There are a couple of things you'll want to have ready before we start. Have at least one Dreamcast game disk image ready to test. These are typically .bin, .gdi or .cdi files. You'll also want a controller to play Dreamcast games. I use the 8-bit Doe Pro 2 controller, which is perfect for RetroArch as well as pretty much every emulator I've ever used it on. Before we start the guide, make sure your controller is connected to your system. So if you haven't already got RetroArch installed, we'll need to do this first. This is the download link that simply says download 64-bit. You can use the installer version if you like, but I prefer the portable version. Once this is downloaded, extract the files. I'm going to just extract it on my desktop. If you're having issues extracting the files, be sure to use applications such as 7-zip or WinRAR. The next step is to decide whether you'll use the built-in BIOS or download the Dreamcast BIOS file. An actual Dreamcast BIOS file isn't a requirement for Dreamcast emulation using the Flycast core, so if you're having trouble locating the file or just want to press on without it, that shouldn't be a problem. If you are seeking the Dreamcast BIOS file, then you'll need to search online for files called dc underscore boot dot bin and dc underscore flash dot bin. Once you've downloaded these files, you'll need to place them in a folder called dc, which has to be created in the RetroArch system folder. For example, RetroArch forward slash system forward slash dc. Next, we need to download the Flycast core in RetroArch. So boot up RetroArch. Once it's open, select Load Core and then select Downloader Core. Then scroll down the Core Downloader menu until you reach Sega Dreamcast Naomi Flycast. Select this and the core will begin to install. If you're using an existing installation of RetroArch, be sure to also go back to the main menu, scroll down to Online Updater and then select Update Core Info Files and Update Databases. This will just update all the key files and databases in RetroArch, making sure everything is all up to date and minimizing any potential issues. And now we're ready to play. It's that easy. Go back to the main menu in RetroArch and select Load Content. Next, navigate to where you have your Dreamcast game stored, then select the game disk image you want to play. Finally, if you want to access the Flycast core options where you can tweak emulator settings including changing the Dreamcast system region and video resolution with upscaling settings, you can do this by pressing F1 and scrolling down and selecting options. Here you'll find all the Flycast emulator settings which can be configured to your own requirements. So that was a really simple overview of how to play Dreamcast games on RetroArch. Any questions or problems you may be having with RetroArch and Dreamcast emulation, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. If you want to check out a written version of this guide, be sure to check the link in the description to howtoretro.com.